Black Wall Street, Tulsa, Oklahoma, was an amazing place. Black people in the early 1900s with their own banks, own grocery stores, own hospitals. But Black Wall Street cannot be discussed without talking about O.W. Gurley. O.W. Gurley was born December 25th, 1868 to freed slaves in Huntsville, Alabama. He grew up in Pine Bluff, Arkansas and was self-educated. Later married Emma, his high school sweetheart, and became a teacher. He eventually took a real good job with the U.S. Postal Service. The Great Oklahoma Land Rush. September 16, 1893, 25-year-old joined Cherokee Outlet before stopping on a plot of land. State claim to what soon became Perry, Oklahoma, one of the many towns advertised to black Americans. Gurley invented the area for black families. He ran for country treasurer, made principal at the town school, and opened a successful general store he ran for a decade. How the big money was made. By the turn of the century, they heard tales of an oil well named Ida Glen No. 1 in Tulsa that was making folks rich. It was the first find in a mid-continental oil field. Gurley went it in and sold his store and his land in Perry, Oklahoma to move 80 miles to Tulsa, Oklahoma in 1905. When he got to Tulsa, he purchased a large plot of land to start a city. Then he looked for upwardly mobile blacks, such as himself, looking for an opportunity. After the Emancipation of Proclamation, the black folks could now claim land. So they moved through Kansas in the 1870s and the 1880s. They soon went through Gurley's path through Oklahoma in the 1890s. Gurley knew freemen and sharecroppers would make their way to Oklahoma, so he built a grocery store on a street named Greenwood. Greenwood was named after a town in Mississippi. Gurley subsidized his land and turned it into residential and commercial lots. Greenwood soon became a beacon of wealth. Education and advancements rivaled New York, Chicago, and Atlanta. Doctors, lawyers, and realtors flourished. Luxury hotels were built and millionaires were minted. Because of all this, when Booker T. Washington arrived, he deemed Greenwood as the Negro Wall Street. Hence, Black Wall Street. Greenwood was a place black people could get away from social and political oppression in the Deep South. This economy was born out of necessity and wouldn't have existed if not for Jim Crow. In 1921, the Greenwood District of Tulsa, Oklahoma, also known as Black Wall Street, was a prosperous and thriving African-American community. However, on May 31st and June 1st of that year, a white mob attacked the area, killing the estimated 300 residents and injuring hundreds more. The mob also burned and destroyed over 1,200 homes and businesses. The exact cause of violence is not entirely clear, but it is best believed to have been sparked by a false accusation of an African-American man assaulting a white woman. The event is now known as the Tulsa Race Massacre. The destruction of Greenwood was devastating for the community and never fully recovered from the loss of lives and property. It was rare to find a survivor who would talk about the violence, but a few found the courage to record their stories in the 1990s. He said, please don't burn my house. Don't set my house on fire. Well, that was wishful thinking because everything around was burning. All I could see was black rolling smoke down south and the people going north. 